everybody! Today, let's make another warm pot meal. You have a warm pot and make a meal. These days, all of us, we are so really struggling some difficult time. A lot of you guys are working from home and probably a lot of families and you don't go out. Restaurants are closed. So what else can you do? You gotta make something delicious meal every, every three meal. You have a kimchi, well fermented kimchi in the refrigerator. Let's make kimchi sujebi. Sujebi is a hand torn noodle soup. Hand torn noodles. Sounds very, very delicious, isn't it? First, I'm going to make noodles. I will use my food processor and you gotta change to this is a dough blade. Dough blade and we need three quarter cup water. Half cup and quarter cup. So total three quarter cup. And let's add half teaspoon salt. One tablespoon the cooking oil, this vegetable oil. Look at that, my vegetable oil is so low. <laughs> Monkey is so poor. She cannot afford the cooking oil. <laughs> One tablespoon cooking oil. And then two cups flour. Two cups. Really, really easy. If you, especially if you use food processor. But by the way, if you don't have a food processor, water, salt, oil, and flour in a bowl. And mix together and then knead. That's all. I knead it for one minute and then you see, shaped into one bowl. My plastic bag, I will just uh, prepare everything inside here. Today. That's why I said it's super easy. Put this into this plastic bag. Don't waste. This dough is very sticky. See? And but but it's firm enough to handle this. That's the key point. That's why this ratio is very important. Whenever I make the sujebi, I always remember this ratio. You know, two cups of flour plus you know three quarter cup water, one tablespoon oil, half a teaspoon salt. What else? That's it. So this one is like always in my head. So easily I can make this kind of sujebi. So this. I'll just uh, keep it here. If you make them like uh, maybe six hours later, you know, for dinner, you can keep in the refrigerator until tomorrow it'll be okay. And now I already put this uh, eight cups of water here. I need the anchovies. These anchovies are for making stock, large size. I will use amount, this amount for eight cups of water. Let's see how many. Just so we need to remove these heads and guts, like this. So after cleaning heads and guts, let's see. So 13 grams, 13 to 15 grams you can use. This is stock pouch, dashi bag, stock pouch. I will just add this. Let's add it to the water. So I will add two garlic cloves and one medium onion, around six ounce. Slice and I will add this here. And garlic. What did I say? I make kimchi sujebi. So I need kimchi. So this is eight ounce kimchi. I already pre-measured my really delicious homemade kimchi, very sour. And also two tablespoon kimchi brine already here. I'm going to chop this up and add here. And let's add here. And 
to medium high heat, let it cook. So let's check out our noodles. These guys' noodles, <laughs> hand tone, it should be toned by my hand. Really, really soft. So you can just, uh, you know, like this. Like that. Knead. This is what I'm doing. And put it here. Rainy day, Koreans are eating, making pancakes so that the house is very warm and cozy. Korean jeon, like a vegetable pancake, potato pancake, and this sujebi. Sujebi also this kind of hand tone noodle soup. Why? Because it makes us feel so cozy and warm and also easy, easy to make. It smells so good. This is kimchi, anchovy, you know, all together mixing, boiling. This smells uh, make my mouth water. I boiled 25 minutes over medium high. Let's take out the anchovies. We didn't add any salt here, so a little blend. I'm going to add fish sauce. So now we gotta handle these noodles. So wash your hands nicely. We never wear rubber gloves. You guys use bare hand. So that's mom. Mom's cooking, you know, so to tear the noodles. So take out the dough. Like this. <laughs> See? And we gotta make this dough chewy. And just to make it this way, we have to knead a little few more minutes. Like this. So let's open this. So now this is too big. So I'm going to divide into two. And put some water here. Like this. See? You can almost see it through. This irregular shape is more really appetizing. So always look at this. Like stretch this and like this. And then stir this. And then we gotta use another bowl. Water. When I was young, my grandmother making the for whole family, you know, almost eight people, eight family members, she makes this and then, oh, we gotta help her. And then all the children are get together and then we just make this. Of course, my grandmothers are making thinner and nicely beautiful, you know, hand to noodles, but children are making just like a one bowl, <laughs> small bowl. So when we eat, so, oh, who made this? And stir this. Wow, looks good. Looks nice. I like to add hot pepper paste here. Slice the green onion. I use three green onions. From now, just five more minutes I cook. That's it. And also when you taste this, if this is too blend, add salt. So salt to your taste. I crack the lid because it's really bubbling now. And I'm going to eat with this oi muchim, spicy seasoned cucumber. And This is also a really easy recipe and really nice side dish. Some salad like a side dish we need. Just five minutes I told you, you know, cooking now. Nice. You wanna see? 
Yay! This sesame oil is optional, but I will add one teaspoon. Nice, isn't it? Let me taste. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> mm, delicious. Hot. Mmm. I love kimchi. So good. It goes well with a hot, delicious kimchi sujebi. The broth is very savory and little spicy and little you know, sour and really yummy. And kimchi, crispy kimchi, noodles are really thin, chewy, and also soft. So this is a perfect meal, simple meal. How would you like it? <laughs> Make it kimchi sujebi. So today we made kimchi sujebi, kimchi hand torn noodle soup. Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye.